All right, Chandler, thank you so much. Well, this Sunday is the 2023 Vets Christmas Ride for more than two decades. The Vets Christmas Ride has been a pillar of support for Dorn VA's local veterans. Joining us are Jim Wortman, who is one of the organizers, and Tammy Finney with the Dorn VA, both key figures in this heartwarming tradition. Thank you so much for the both of you being here. Thank you for having us. All right, Jimmy, let's take it off. Talk about, you know, what people are going to be expecting this Sunday for this event. Well, what we're doing is we obviously we take Christmas to the veterans in Doran VA Medical Center. We've been this is the 23rd year. Uh, it started out as a motorcycle ride, but as the years went by, the local community, both business and the regular community itself has really got actively involved. Uh, what will happen at Carolina Honda on Sunday is that at nine o'clock, we open the gates, the motorcycles will start to come. Uh, we'll be fed by uh, Troop 324 of the Boy Scouts, which that's a fundraiser for them. And we teach them about veterans. And then at two o'clock, uh, we leave and go to Dorn VA Medical Center. Uh, obviously the gifts, uh, if you go to vetsride.org, which is the key, you, because you can do one of two things there. You can look at the gift list and you can bring the gift by, or you can donate online. Uh, obviously with the threat of rain, uh, we always worry that we're not going to have enough gifts for every veteran in the hospital. Uh, if it is raining on Sunday, bring your car, come to Carolina Honda. Uh, it's a very festive occasion and it's a very festive occasion over at Dorn. And the bottom line is again, uh, the good Lord's blessed us for the last 22 years. Uh, we have never failed these veterans, both the motorcycle community and the local community, and I know we won't do it again. Absolutely, we won't do it again. He's put us on the line, right? <laughs> Tammy, talk about what these unwrapped toys and these donations. Uh, gifts, no toys. Gifts, well, these, these gifts, excuse me, they're gifts. Talk about what they do to the people who are receiving them. Well, when the veterans have an opportunity to see that the community is there to support them and revere them for their service and to let them know that they're not forgotten during this holiday season, it is one of the most exhilarating experiences to see them with the appreciation, knowing that there are veterans who may be hospitalized, who don't have family members. It lets them know that the community continues to revere them for their selfless service as our nation's heroes. And talk about how the Midlands gets involved with this event. How do they show up every year? They continually to do it. We have, there's so many people that don't ride. I mean, obviously the, a lot of motorcycle people come from all over the state uh, to support this event because a large portion of the motorcycle community are veterans, but the local community come and uh, if they don't come to Carolina Honda, they'll starting today all the way through Sunday, they'll be coming to my store, dropping off gifts. And a lot, you know, if you want to donate, donate it in honor of a veteran that served in your family. Mm -hmm. $10 goes a long way in helping us achieve these gifts. And we need the community as well as the motorcycle community. Rain or shine, we ride. These people who are in Dorn VA Medical Center, they fought in the rain. They fought in the snow and the cold. Mm -hmm. If you want to see a real hero, come to Dorn VA on Sunday because they'll have some of the ambulatory patients there. I spent 30 years in the military. This is what it's all about. And the Christmas time is the saddest time of year for military people. Mm -hmm. And we can make, we make it better every year. And Tammy, talk about how you all make it better. What's the impact here when we talk about, you know, veterans and the community, what's the impact that, that this event has on their lives? Well, the impact is that they see the community coming together. Mm -hmm. You know, years ago, Columbia was known as the most military friendly community in the nation. And so this goes to further um, support that um, amazing um, accolade that we continue to give back. Going into the rooms of veterans mm -hmm. and telling them we appreciate them for their service. Some of them say that, you know, I can't, this isn't mine, I can't afford it. Mm -hmm. And then we have others who say, and, and when they say that, we let them know, you have done so much for us, we wanna give back to you. And then there are some who say, I fought in Vietnam, and this is the first time someone has said thank you. So letting them mm. know that we are still here for them and that we can make a difference in their life during this season, it is the reason for the season. Absolutely, Jim, wrap us up here. What type of items are you all looking for? There is a gift list that, that's on vetsride.org and I would strongly uh, they love ball caps, they love sweatshirts, they love things for the season. Uh, remember, this is Christmas. 
they like I mean, there's a lot of things that, that are on that list that you may not think, well, geez, you know, I wouldn't think they'd like that. But they appreciate anything that you get. And the whole key is vetsride.org. Please remember these veterans. And please, if you can't bring a gift, donate. $10 helps, I'm telling you. And again, if you want to see a real hero, be over to Dorn VA Medical Center about 2.45, 3 o'clock on Sunday when the motorcycles pull in and there'll be cars. We welcome cars. We're going to take everybody to Dorn. Then you'll get to meet some real heroes and have a hopefully have a something meaning to your Christmas. Absolutely. Well, can we put the information back on the screen? If you uh, want to participate in this, there's a QR code that's on your screen now through December 10th, 2023. The Vets Christmas Ride organizers are collecting unwrapped gifts and monetary donations to support the local veterans at the Dorm VA Hospital. Go ahead and pick up your phone and scan that QR code. We will also have this information on our website, WISTV.com. All right, stay with us. We have more news and weather after this.